Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Jasenia Vice, and you're tuned in to Like a Boss here on This Is 50. Welcome. Today I have actor, rapper Paige Kennedy. Tell us what you're doing out here in New York City mm -hmm. and where you're from. Well, I'm from Detroit, you know. Detroit, we always what? gotta represent that what? D. You know what I mean? You see us anywhere around the world, you see that D, you know it's a 313 boy, you know what I'm saying? Because we're very proud of where we're from. But I'm I'm in this beautiful town, New York City. I love the atmosphere. I love how it feels. Like, you know what I'm saying? AKA the city that never sleeps. City that never sleeps. AKA concrete jungle. Concrete jungle with concrete <laughs> brick buildings. The architecture is crazy out here. Have you been here for the snow yet? Did you experience the Hell snow? no. It I is got lucky. Brick outside yeah. right now it's a little warm considering what we all know about but i want to get to what a lot of people that have been following you want to hear you talk about you just released something and i'm gonna let you disclose the rapper and what has been brewing from there because i have another question for you and i, I and i really want to pick your brain on it so tell us what it was about uh who this rapper is well uh i just released a track called testimony um and it, it's actually a few rappers uh it's one of my favorite rappers in the world right now, Royce the 5'9", another D-boy. You got King Los on that joint from Baltimore. And you got another D-boy on the hook, uh, Mr. Porter from D12. So, you know, we released that and the video just came out. It's the, like the Batman animated series where we're like the super villains going after Batman and it looks like we're destroying them, but then like a little twist at the end, it turns out that Eminem was the Joker posing as Batman and he put a hit out on himself because he's like the craziest of all the MCs. And that so, is pretty genius. Yeah. So what's this beef though that I'm, I'm hearing about with Lil Yachty? <laughs> I, that's what I want to get to, the juicy juice. Ah. About that. Like, I think he wasn't a fan of something you released. I mean... What are your feelings about it? Because you're an artist, you have the right to express, and he's an artist and he has a, a whole right to feel. So what... What do you think about this game? Is he being too sensitive for the rap game? I mean, no, listen, I mean, it, it is what it is. Like, you know, young Yachty, wait, little Yachty, I apologize, <laughs> small boat. Oh. Uh, no, I'm just playing. No, I, you know, I, I took shots at him just, you know, it, it's just kind of in a tongue in cheek way, just because I feel like he's like the leader of the, the new school of this mumble rap. And, you know, obviously I come from like the golden era and, I come from where raps like like meant something and the words meant something and it took time to, to do, you know, and so I you know, I just express my opinion on that. I don't want to have a beef necessarily with him. So like you're cool, it's just he's sensitive right now. He's taking it too sensitive. I mean, himself. you know, I, I, think I the express rappers myself. nowadays are soft because we had people growing up like 50, Eminem, DMX, and yeah. they were just uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Oh, you want you feel some type of way, then I'm gonna put yeah, it in. Yeah, let's a, put it on I'm the track, fast. let's battle. Let's I battle. asked them to battle and he said, like, rap battle? <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, so I don't even think he even know what that is. Right. I don't know. I guess he was upset at me, so he blocked me. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? It's okay. I've been blocked by a few people, too. CeeLo? A word? <laughs> I don't even, we're not even going to disclose that. So, I um, mean, I mean, that's not as big of an achievement as CeeLo being blocked by Nicki Minaj. Me, but. too. I got blocked <laughs> by Nicki Minaj. Oh, Nicki Why, blocked Nikki? you too? And probably Little Yachty's gonna block me too after this. After this, he's gonna block okay you too. Because I'm from Brick City and I'm, I'm, I got tough skin. It's cool. It's That's cool. what's up. <laughs> so, did you see the Target commercial? <laughs> because yes. on my way up here, no lie, I, was, I, I heard people talking about it and it was so funny because I was gonna mention this in this interview. Did you think it was a smart move or do you think, because it's commercial, obviously, and a lot yeah. of people have gone that route and if they've been successful, but I don't, I myself don't see the two like mixing well. I mean, listen, you, you, you got to look at, at, at what he's doing, you know, like, I, I don't even think he really considers himself a rapper like that. He's more like putting himself in a, a pop culture type of thing. Like that's, he's, doing he's with a pop movie. star. Yeah. So, so, Nikki, you know, me now. he's like, <laughs> unblock her. Stop being jealous because she oh, all no. beautiful and she got all this going on. You ain't got to be jealous of that girl. <laughs> Come on, man! It's enough for both y'all. It's enough. <laughs> no, yeah. But um, back to you. No, but 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 I I feel like you know um he's kind of like in a, a a situation where he's trying to be you know a pop star. Okay. I mean, because that's what the look it looks like. And what is your situation? Because I know that you have gone viral many of times, and now you're taking the rap career serious. Where yeah. you, 
what what rapper do you you know compare yourself or would like to be compared to? Because obviously you have to grow up looking up to someone and admiring someone. Who would that rapper be? I mean, well, you know, I, I grew up you know admiring a plethora of rappers. You know, from from the Kooji raps mm -hmm. and the Rock Hems. Mm -hmm. All the way up to like my personal friends, Biggie and Ice Cube. You know, you knew Biggie? And, yeah, I knew Biggie. I'm, I used to I actually I'm used to open. This. Wow. Yeah, I used to open for Biggie. That's awesome. Yeah, so you know, you look on the gram, you see pictures of us. You know, I was on tour with Biggie like back. You know, when I was in college. So, so I looked up people like that. Eminem, of course, is like my favorite rapper of all time. And I'm from, from Detroit, Detroit, and yep. so we, you know, I, I feel like we kind of, you know, the Detroit like the lyrical. Struggle. MCs, you Everything. know, they kind of have like a similar thing That's going awesome. on. Well, I, I definitely have become a fan because I, I did listen to some things that you had obviously before I did this interview. Oh, uh, that's what's and up. And I admire your thought and your flow. I mean, Thank I think, you. I think you're dope. I think Thank you. you. Talk to me about Torn Pages because that's a project that I'm sure is close to your heart. How did that come about? Where do you see it going? What is it, you know, what can people expect to find? So Torn Pages comes out March 10th. Make sure y'all hear that. Make March sure. 10th, Torn Pages is available everywhere. But uh, Torn Pages is basically, you know, this has been a project that I've waited my whole life to, to, to give and to share. It's very personal. Um, it, it, it brings like the old 90s amazing hip hop back. Like where that. you got concepts, you got stories, you got dope flow, you got fun things, and you have like ex extremely personal information that, you know, I'm basically venting and allowing it to be therapy and I'm just sharing it to the world. So it's stuff on, it's stuff on torn pages that I haven't even ever expressed publicly. Is it about love too? Love? Love? I mean, it's, it's all, it's all about love, like in, cause that's, that's my passion. That's my, you know, so this, this project is full of love. Like okay. I put all my love and passion into this project. Nice, nice, nice. So I know <laughs> that you've been in some movies. Yeah. What was your favorite film and, and working with like an actor? What was your favorite actor you worked with? Uh, well, my favorite movie is actually a movie that hasn't come out yet. I just filmed it in New Zealand. Uh, it's this movie. Fancy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called Meg. It's about the big megalodon shark, the big dinosaur oh, shark, yes. the huge one. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. so Jason Statham is in that. Yes. Yeah, Ruby Rose, Rain Wilson. That is exciting because is this is this like a part, what is it? Well, there, there's a trilogy of okay. the book. Yeah. There's a book trilogy. But you know we don't we don't know wow. you know film wise. I hope I hope that the are you afraid film of sharks? Has a, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> especially like big dinosaur sharks. <laughs> um, but but that that was fun, man. You know I play a cool character. His name's DJ, and I I had a lot of fun doing that film. So that's cool. probably that favorite actor to work with. I probably would have to say Mary Louise Parker and Romney on Weeds like because the acting was just so top tier and you know just even in the rehearsals it was just it brought me back to when I was on stages you know and, and working with like great actors that awesome. just make you feel some kind of way in the moment and so, so you've been in this game a lot longer than when people understand you're just not overnight insta famous oh, celebrity nah, nah. you are like you have the credits and the resume to back it up yeah how has social media enhanced your career because I know that you're like two million, one million on another account, like you're blowing up. You're, yeah. I mean, it's not easy to have a following, but is that flattering? Does it stroke your ego? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess so. You know, I, I, I have like seven million followers across the board on everything. And, uh, you know, I think it's dope because I, I, I was just walking around the city with one of my, I, I went to graduate school for Shakespeare at mm -hmm. the University of Delaware. And one of my, uh, one of the, you know, the other students there, like he's a New York actor, so he's out here. So we were just walking around the city and it's just dope how much love I get, like wherever I go and the different types of people that get it. So you kind of know where they know you from it's based nice off of their demographic. Your work is yeah, working. yeah, definitely. And, and so they, they, they show love and he's like, he's like, what do you think they know you from? 
what do you think they know you from? And I was like, at this point, it could be from everything, you know, but yeah, it could be Spike TV, the list goes on, the resume is strong. BMS, like it could be, it could be whatever, but, but because the internet, see the difference of TV and film, if no one saw your movie, if no one watches the show that you're on, then they don't know you, right? But the internet is the entire world that everyone has access to. Yeah, so and so cool. you got more opportunity for people to know that. And since I've been doing like funny videos for the last five years from yeah. YouTube, Vine, Instagram, all that stuff. We gotta do one know. together. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> After this, you you best believe <laughs> me and CeeLo about to put you in something right now. <laughs> I need something because that thumbnail going to be crazy. Well, I'm definitely excited and looking forward to all your projects that you have going on. If there's anything else that you want to tell the audience, if you didn't know, the show's called Like a Boss and I'm going to stamp you. You are a boss. Hey, that's what's up. <laughs> I'm a boss, you know, like a boss. No, but uh. I'm, I'm at Paige Kennedy, P-A-G-E Kennedy, on all social media, everything, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, all of that stuff. You can get at me. The album comes out March 10th, Torn Pages. I got the head single, um, the title single, uh, Torn Pages, the song featuring Marsha Ambrosius, who is amazing. That's coming out uh, on the 24th. Nice. Make sure you get that everywhere. Make get them sure pre-orders. We'll be putting the information in the description box. Make sure to ask questions below. Paige is going to take a look at it. I'm going to take a look at it. We'll respond whenever we get a chance to. Yeah. But make sure to check out this guy because he is a boss. Hey. I'm your girl, Justine Vice. Out. Detroit. <laughs>